Hey friends, welcome to Sean's Stories. Today, we're leaving Earth behind for an adventure that's out of this world. That's right, we're exploring the solar system. Buckle up, because it's time to blast off. We're going to learn about the sun, the planets, and even some fun space facts you can share with your friends. So, grab your space snacks and let's get started. First up, the sun. Did you know the sun is more than just a big bright light in the sky? It's a massive star made mostly of hydrogen and helium. In fact, the sun is so big that over a million Earths could fit inside it. The sun is also super hot, around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on its surface. That's hotter than a pizza oven. And here's a fun fact. The sun is the reason we have day and night. As Earth spins, different parts of the planet face the sun. Imagine standing on the sun. What do you think would happen? Hold your hands out like you're warming them by a fire. Now, imagine that warmth multiplied a billion times. That's the sun's heat. Let's visit the planets closest to the sun. First up, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and the fastest to orbit the sun. It takes just 88 Earth days to complete a year. But don't let it speed fool you. It's not the hottest planet. That title goes to Venus, the second planet from the sun. Venus is covered in thick clouds that trap heat like a giant oven. Venus spins in the opposite direction of most planets, so if you lived there, the sun would rise in the west and set in the east. How wild is that? Let's take a quick quiz. Which planet is the hottest in the solar system? Is it A, Mercury, B, Venus, or C, Mars? It's B. Venus is the hottest planet because of its thick atmosphere. Mercury might be closer to the sun, but it doesn't have an atmosphere to hold the heat. Next up, our home, Earth. Earth is the only planet we know of that has life. It has the perfect mix of air, water, and temperature for plants, animals, and humans to live. It's like the Goldilocks of planets, just right. Here's a challenge for you. Take a deep breath. That air you just breathed in is mostly nitrogen and oxygen, two gases that help keep us alive. Fun fact, about 70% of Earth is covered in water. But did you know we've only explored 5% of the ocean? Who knows what other mysteries are down there? Let's hop over to our neighbor, Mars. Mars is known as the red planet because of its rusty soil. Scientists think it once had rivers and lakes just like Earth, but now it's a dry desert. Mars also has the tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons. It's three times taller than Mount Everest. Let's do another quiz. What makes Mars red? Is it a, rusty soil, B, it's always blushing, C, it's covered in red paint. It's A, the iron in the soil gives Mars its red color. Isn't that cool? Now we're heading to the big planets, Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It's so big that 1300 or 1,300, Earths could fit inside it. Saturn is famous for its rings, which are made of ice, rock, and dust. If you ever visit Saturn, you'd see some of the most breathtaking views in the solar system. Let's glide over to Uranus and Neptune. Uranus spins on its side, almost like it's rolling through space and it's made of a gas called methane, 
which gives it that bluish color. Neptune, the farthest planet, has the fastest winds in the solar system, over 1,200 miles per hour. Imagine trying to fly a kite there. Finally, let's visit Pluto, the dwarf planet. Pluto may be small, but it has five moons. Fun fact, dwarf planets are too small to clear their orbits of other objects. That's why Pluto isn't considered a planet anymore. We've been on an incredible journey. Let's recap everything we've learned about our amazing solar system. And don't forget, there's always more to discover out there. First, we met the sun, the superstar of our solar system. It's a giant ball of gas that gives us light, heat, and energy. Without the sun, life on Earth wouldn't exist. And did you remember? Over a million Earths could fit inside the sun. Then we zipped over to the rocky planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are small but mighty. Mercury is the fastest planet. Venus is the hottest. Earth is our perfect home. And Mars is famous for its rustic red soil and the tallest volcano in the solar system. Next, we explored the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter is so big, it has 79 moons, and it even has a giant storm called the Great Red Spot that's been raging for centuries. Saturn wowed us with its icy rings, one of the most stunning sights in the solar system. And hey, here's a cool fact we didn't mention earlier. Jupiter's Great Red Spot is shrinking. Scientists aren't sure why, but it's like the storm is slowly winding down. Hmm. Then we met the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. Uranus is famous for spinning on its side, and Neptune blew us away with its super fast winds. Faster than any hurricane on Earth. Hold on to your space helmets. And finally, we stopped by dwarf planet Pluto. It may be small, but Pluto has a big heart, literally. Its surface has a heart-shaped ice region that makes it one of the most lovable planets. Let's see how much you remember. Here's a super quick quiz. Which planet is the hottest? Which planet has the fastest winds? How many moons does Jupiter have? Got your answers? Let's check. Venus is the hottest planet because of its thick atmosphere. Neptune has the fastest winds, over 1,200 miles per hour. Jupiter has 79 moons and counting. Wow, you're space geniuses. Our solar system is full of wonder and there's still so much to learn. If you had to pick your favorite planet, which one would it be? I think mine would be Neptune because of the winds. I like a windy day, but I know on Neptune I'd be like blown away, but I like a nice windy day. So I like Neptune. What about you? Thanks for joining me today, friends, on this out of this world adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out another fun video. We'll see you next time where we'll still be reading, singing, laughing, learning, and growing. Bye, friends.